Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. From what we have here, we take 4 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. That is, we have x raised to the power 6 minus 4 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 here. Then, here we can rewrite this as x raised to the power 3, 4 raised to the power 2, as 2 times 3 gives us 6. Then, also we have minus 4 raised to the power 3. 4 raised to the power 2, then equals to 0 here. And this follows when we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b. Then here, a is standing as x raised to the power 3, and b standing at 4 raised to the power 3. Then what we have here, Follow this and becomes x raised to power 3 plus 4 raised to power 3 into brackets, then open bracket x raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 close bracket, then equals to 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases. The first one x raised to power 3 plus 4 raised to power 3 equals to 0, or we have x raised to the power 3 minus 4 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 here. And solving on this side, this follows now we have a raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open brackets, a square minus ab plus b square. That is, all we have here follow this and becomes x plus 4 into brackets, open bracket x squared minus 4x plus 4 square close bracket equals to 0 here. That is, this is the same thing as x plus 4 into brackets, then open bracket x square minus 4x plus 4 squared as 16 close brackets equals to 0 here. Then we have two possible cases now. The first one, x plus 4 equals to 0, or we have x squared minus 4x plus 16 equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 4, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 4, and c equals to 16. Applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 16 then over 2 times 1 then this becomes x equals to minus times minus here that's plus we have 4 then plus or minus square root of Minus 4 square as 16, then minus 4 times 1 times 16, and still use as 4 times 16, then over 2. That is here, yeah, this becomes x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is common here. We have 16 out into bracket 1 minus 4 left here over 2 here. Then this becomes x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times 1 minus 4 that's minus 3 over 2. Then when we separate this root 16 that's 4, take it out. We have x equals to 4 plus or minus 4, and we have root minus 3 that's same thing as root 3i over 2. 
Then here, this is the same thing as x equals to 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3 high over 2. That is, here we have x equals to 4 over 2, that's 2, then plus or minus 4 root 3 high over 2, that's 2 root 3 high. That is, here we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here, this follows on we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 with the same thing as a minus b into bracket open bracket a square plus a b plus b square at this year what we have becomes x minus 4 into brackets and open bracket x square plus 4x plus 4 square close bracket then equals to 0 here at this year we have x minus 4 into bracket then open bracket. Here we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 squared, that's 16, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then also we have two possible cases. The first one, x minus 4 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 4x plus 16 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side. We have x equals to 4, which is a real solution as well. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 16. Also, applying the quadratic formula, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1. Times 16 over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square, that's 16, then minus. We can write 4 times 1 times 16 as simply 4 times 16, then over 2 here, which implies here this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is common here. We have 16 into bracket 1 minus 4 here, yeah. which implies we have x equals to, let's divide by 2, and we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times 1 minus 4 here, we have minus 3 all over 2. Then we can separate this root into two root 16. That's 4. We take it out. Uh, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus 4. Then root minus 3. Same thing as root 3i over 2. And this is same thing as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3i over 2. Which implies we have x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2, plus or minus. Here becomes 2 root 3i. That is, we have two complex solutions here as well. And therefore, all together in this problem, we have six solutions. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.